Hello YouTube, this is the DBT Show, episode 149, and today I'm going to review New Super Mario Bros. DS. So, let's get started. Right, that's my um, camera set up, so let's start this review. Now, New Super Mario Bros. DS is a very good... DS game. It's not as good as the Wii version, I have to admit, but it's still a good game to play. Story for this game. Story for this game is okay. It's the usual storyline for Mario games. Princess Peach gets kidnapped, you have to save her. Usual s stuff. Graphics of the game. Well, the graphics of the game, I think they're pretty good. Multiplayer of the game is also pretty good. One of the um, multiplayer games is basically you have to um, collect power stars for a level and race your friend to the end of the level. Which can be quite fun. You can also um, do stylish mini games in two player mode as well. Most of them have been taken from Super Mario 64 DS, but. There are some new ones, and they are fun at times. Uh, let's hop into the world. I've got controls now. Controls for this game are very simple and easy to learn. Hold down Y, you can run. Alpad moves you around. B or A jumps. Um. If you got a fire flower, that's why to throw your fireballs. If you can knock an enemy onto its back, if you hold B next to it, you can uh, pick it up. If you let go of B, you can throw it. A jump, A or B jumps, doesn't really matter which one you use. You can also do triple jumps and double jumps if you're skillful enough. You can also do wall jumps and that sort of thing. So the controls are very simple and very easy to learn. Whoops! <laughs> uh, the game. Music in the game is also very good. There's quite a lot of tunes in the game that are quite catchy. And quite nice to listen to. Um, gameplay of the game. Gameplay of the game is also very good. There are eight different worlds to go through, and there are quite a lot of challenging levels to play through as well. Good stuff about this game. The good stuff about this game is definitely. Um, Gameplay. The gameplay of this game is awesome. It keeps you entertained for hours and hours on the e on end. This is also a good game to play on the go. Um, there are loads of levels in the game, and a lot of them are quite challenging, especially in World Eight. And you were a good thing about the game all over the different bosses. And some of them can be quite tricky. Especially when you're forced to fight some bosses as Tiny Mario. Which hinders you a lot because to get Tiny Mario to do any damage to the enemy at all, you have to use the um, butt stomp move, which can be kind of tricky to land a hit sometimes since you're so small. In each level, there are three star coins to collect. These star coins can be used to purchase new levels throughout the game, or some um, nice screen decoration for your bottom screen in from the shop, which is kind of nice. 
the um although there aren't that many um things to purchase with the star coins so you sort of run out of things to buy rather quickly um but star coins are quite a fun thing to collect and some of them can be really difficult to get especially those ones that are in hard to reach places Um, you'll go for that this game is definitely the map. The map lets you um, pick which level you want to go into. It's very, looks very old and very classical. And it gives the player the um, chance to choose which way he wants to go. Uh, you'll go for that this game. I definitely the all different power ups. My favourite one has to be the giant mushroom because it allows you to destroy anything in your way. Even that you kill Bowser in one hit, which is awesome. <laughs> uh, the Rugged Power Up is a fire flower. Tiny mushrooms are pretty useful for getting across water very quickly. Um. You'll go for the best game all with different secret levels. Throughout the game, there are quite a few secret levels and secret paths, paths to, to find. Some of them can be rather difficult to um, figure out. And if you think it's a game, I think the Toad Houses. Basically, the Toad Houses, if you use them, you can um, get more lives or a certain weapon to help you beat the level that you want to beat. Which I thought was really good. You thought it was great about the game, if after the beating World 8, you get a special code which lets you unlock and play as Luigi anytime you've got in the game, which is a nice little extra, I think. Um, the final good thing about this game is definitely um, the item save feature. On your bottom screen, you'll see it says no item. If I manage to pick up an item, I want I can save it for later. And let's say if I'm in a really tight spot where I, where I badly need a mushroom or a fire flower, I can touch the bottom screen, and that item will drop out when I need it. So that's a really, really nice feature. YouTube. That's basically all the good stuff I want to say about the game. Now let's go to my complaints. Okay, my complaints about use of my Bros DS. I haven't got that many complaints actually. It is a very good game and I have a lot of fun playing it. My only complaint is with this game is that there's no flying power up and this makes the game a lot less fun for me and a lot of the star coins that are in hard to reach places will be a lot easier to get and a lot more fun to collect if there was a flying power up. So my only complaint and disappointment with this game is that there is no flying power up. But other than that it's a very good game and it's a lot of fun. So I give New Super Mario Bros DS a 4 out of 5. Uh, my next review will be Sonic Rush for DS. But I'll see you for next time YouTube. Bye!